Well, for me, the music comes from an intuitive place. Um, I, I sort of close my eyes and imagine beautiful places that I visited um, that have felt great, that have inspired me. And, I, and I, I try to feel the essence of what that is. And as I'm creating this music and allowing it to flow through me, I try to feel that so that when folks sort of hear the finished music on a recording or if I'm performing, they feel what th those places looked like and felt like to me. So, you know, the great Indian masters say that, um, you know, we experience life uh, on the soul's level when we close our eyes. We can sort of feel more deeply and we can go within and discover um, the infinite. So when I play, I try to get into a quiet place as if I'm meditating and get in touch with my own inner spirit so that the music itself conveys that inspiration that I feel within. Meditation is, is a practice, just like lifting weights is a practice. You know, if you lift weights, you're making your body fit. If you meditate, you're making your inner fitness grow. You're making yourself more aware. If you're creative like I am, it makes you more able to get in touch with what's inside you so you can listen to this music inside as I do and then try to convey it outside. So I close my eyes when I play and I try to get into a meditation. And, I, and um, I've practiced meditation for my goodness, probably over three decades. So, um, you know, it's a place I'm familiar with and it's a place I enjoy. Where do these ideas come from? You know, that's a great question. I can't tell you exactly where they come from, but one of the reasons I practice meditation is to answer that question. Because I'm aware that I have the ability to hear music, I have the ability to hear ideas, I have the ability to direct my life by going within and feeling it. Now I'm trying to figure out where does that come from. Some people say it comes from God, some people say it comes from the soul. Is it, It's all one and the same. So part of my life and part of my practice is to understand that so I can be more effective as a human being. I mean, the best advice I can give to anybody, whether you want to be a great musician or you want to be a great at anything, is that it's not only the outer exercise and the outer fitness and the outer practice. There, there's something that um, combines really effective people and it's their ability to draw something from within. Whether it's their concentration, their focus, their determination, their faith, their belief, that's an inner experience. So, you know, that, that's something that is powered a lot by meditation. So the biggest advice I can give to anybody is five or ten minutes a day, just sit quietly and think of something that inspires you and, and learn how to let your mind go. Learn how to get control of your mind so that instead of your mind telling you what, it wants, what you might want to do based on the influencers around you, you can tell your mind what you want to do. You can visualize the things you want to get to and you can use all your focus to, to actually receive the ideas and the inspiration that'll help you get there. Meditation's the channel for that.